What we find is that when your spouse tells you they want out, it tends to kick you into this mode of, oh my gosh, my world's about to end, what am I going to do? And you inevitably start doing all the wrong things. Hi, I'm Peter Kowaki, and today I'm here with uh, Kim Bullen of The Marriage Place. So let's, let's, let's talk about when one partner's checked out. You know, that's a tough situation for most couples, especially for the one who doesn't want to check out. So what can a couple do to uh, uh, get out of that, that challenging situation? Well, the first thing that you have to do is manage your anxiety. Because what we find is that when your spouse tells you they want out, it tends to kick you into this mode of, oh my gosh, my world's about to end, what am I going to do? And you inevitably start doing all the wrong things to try to save your marriage. You beg, you plead, you want to talk about the relationship constantly. And we teach clients, step away from all that. All you're doing is pushing your spouse further and further away. So you've got to learn what works and what doesn't work. So in practice, then, what does, what, what does this partner do then? They step away. They don't focus on it. How do they resolve this issue if someone's checked out? Well, we, we talk about how to make yourself more attractive to your spouse on many different levels. You know, oftentimes when we're in a relationship with somebody for a long time, we kind of let ourselves go. And that's not the person you're your spouse fell in love with. So it might be that you, you know, you update the way you look for a little bit. It might be that you get some exercise, change the way you eat. Um, but that's on a very minimal scale. Beyond that, it's how to make yourself emotionally attractive to your spouse, how to make yourself intellectually attractive again to your spouse. The worst thing you can do is pursue at this point. The worst thing you can do is pursue. Okay. So we try to slow it down, slow down the momentum, give your spouse some space to think through some things. You know, they're, they may be having a knee-jerk reaction too. Um, and kind of give you, some, give you some space to make some changes within you. So hopefully your spouse will notice. So slowing it down then is the base, is the, is the, the most important part uh, that everyone yes. who's in that situation should think about. Yes, stop panicking. Um, and start thinking more strategically about what it is you want. And we help you learn how to get what you want. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me, Kim. I really do appreciate it. Now, you have, um, you have uh, in addition to, to, to coaching that you do worldwide with, with clients, you also do a, re a retreat, a breaking free workshop that... Deals with emotional baggage, which is something that lots of couples struggle with. Um, and they can find this at uh, your website, marriageplace.com. Marriageplace.com. The workshop's listed there. We do it once a month. All right. So it's great. We have people fly in everywhere to come to this. So it's, it's a good thing. I believe it. I believe it. <laughs> so thank you again for taking the time to talk with me, Kim. Oh, Peter, thank you so much. This was fun. <laughs>